Hello, Booktube. Today I want to talk about Full Metal Alchemist by Hiromu Arakawa. Um, Full Metal Alchemist is the story of the Elric brothers, Edward and Alphonse Elric. They are two uh, prodigy alchemists um, who um, perform human transmutation, um, a forbidden alchemical ritual or operation that uh, is designed to um, do something with the human body. In this case, the brothers desire to resurrect their deceased mother, Trisha. The operation fails and rebounds on the brothers. Edward loses a leg. Um, Alphonse loses his body. In order to save Alphonse's life, Edward sacrifices an arm to transcribe um, Alphonse's soul onto a suit of armor. Um, a year later, um, outfitted with automail prosthetics, um, Edward becomes a uh, joins the Amestrian military by becoming a state alchemist and getting the moniker Full Metal Alchemist because of his automail prosthetics. The brothers then proceed to travel around Amestris looking for uh, into rumors of the Philosopher's Stone, an alchemical artifact reputed to be able to bypass the uh, law of equivalent exchange, a foundational, fundamental concept of alchemy that dictates that um, the amount of the end product of the transmutation, um, an equal amount has to be sacrificed to, to create that. Uh, but a Philosopher's Stone is said to be able to bypass that. Um, eventually, the brothers discover the truth behind um, the Philosopher's Stone and uh, run up against and uncover a long-running, indeed, a foundational conspiracy um, that has that runs to the very foundations of Amestris itself and which sees the brothers as important human sacrifices for their promised day. Um, Fullmetal Alchemist is one of my favorite manga series of all time. It is one of the most important manga series from the last 20 years. Um, and it's just absolutely amazing. Um, I recently, um, over the, fir the first four days of September, read the entire series in an epic read. It was, it was amazing. Um, and I will talk a lot more about the experiences of um, reading Full Metal Alchemist over four days. Um, this coming weekly reads. But for now, I want to focus more on um, the series itself. Um, so, Full Metal Alchemist is... Um, I don't know quite where to begin. Um, like, my favorite thing about Full Metal Alchemist, in a way, is the plot. Um, the plot... I mean, in a lot of cases... Um, some manga can get rather episodic and then eventually discover a, the core conflict or the core storyline a good ways through the series. And sometimes when that core conflict or core storylines ended, either the series will end or a new conflict will come up. But Full Metal Alchemist, very much despite some episodic um, chapters early in the series, has a strong central storyline from the very beginning. The um, conspiracy of the homunculi, who um, see the brothers as important ingredients, um, human sacrifices. Um, and I just, I love that plot, particularly once it really starts to take off with volume nine. It's just, and it just, it goes and it's 
just wonderful. All of the twists and turns and um, the progressions and regressions and the like turn. It's just it's wonderfully well done. Um, and particularly the um, long final arc that comprises the final day, the promised day. It's just, it's amazing. And oh, that last chapter. I mean, there are some digressions. Um, there's uh, volume 15, which takes a break from the main action and turns the attention to um, the Ishvalan Civil War, which is like a very powerful um, mini arc. And just amazing. And I love the character work. I mean, the growth of the Elric brothers from, particularly with Edward, who is initially a rather ruthless young man in the first few chapters, who grows and becomes more mature, more thoughtful, more willing to stick to his principles, willing to take a harder road because he knows that's the right thing to do. Um, because, I mean, the Philosopher's Stone, what he'd been after, is the ethics of using it is certainly on the don't use it ever side. Um, and it's just, his character progression is just wonderfully well done. And there's humor, although, I mean, of course, the calling him a pipsqueak or something, and then his sort of um, overblown response is maybe sometimes a little over the top, but it's still kind of humorous. And his taste in pretty much anything is like, I mean, it's well done. I love it. Because, I mean, you kind of have to have that sort of quirks, I think. Um, and then... Alphonse, I think his character progression is rather good, although he kind of remains a lot, he doesn't change quite as much. But of course, I think his change is more physical than emotional. Um, and then, of course, um, some of the secondary characters, I mean, like Scar, who starts off as a secondary antagonist, he um, who has a much more personal conflict with the brothers and the main antagonists do. Um, Scar was an Ishvalan um, who survived the um, genocide of the Ishvalan people, who um, is able to um, use a form of alchemy to deconstruct matter. And he uses this ability to hunt down a state alchemist, not only those who uh, participated in um, Ishval as uh, human weapons of mass destruction and um, were integral to um, what happened in Ishval, um, but also those state alchemists like Edward Elric, who had no um, nothing to do with Ishval or um, were kids, as Edward is. He's 15 and 16 during the series. And then, of course, the El Elric brothers also have a personal reason to go after Scar because of um, some murders he committed that uh, come very close to home. Um, and then Scar's character progression from a man driven from driven by hatred and vengeance to becoming a lot, while not forgetting or forgiving what happened, he kind of moves beyond it. He, he isn't trapped in the cycle of vengeance. He kind of grows and becomes a, well, still being a very gruff and core care, I mean, keeping to the core elements of his personality, he just, he, grows and becomes such a complex character. It's just, it's wonderful to see um, there. And a lot of other characters, uh, like um, Major Alex Louis Armstrong, who's 
I forgot how much I enjoyed his character. He is a blast to read. Um, and of course, uh, the character development of like Roy Mustang and so many others. It's just it's very well done. I would say um, like the characters and even the purely monstrous villains, the homunculi, are well done. There are bits of humanity in all of them that really make the characters pop a lot more than um, they might have with a more ham-fisted approach. So it's just mm, wonderful stuff. Um, the main antagonists of um, Fullmetal Alchemist are the homunculi, artificial humans, who um, are led by a homunculus himself named Father, who created the other seven who are patterned after the seven deadly sins. Um, initially, the main three homunculi that the Elric brothers face are Lust, Envy, and Gluttony. And then later, um, Wrath and Pride take center stage as the core two. While Greed is independent, initially as a sort of a tertiary of uh, like another secondary antagonist, um, but later becomes more of an ally um, as his character grows and changes. And that's a wonderfully well done too. It's just, again, just wonderful stuff. Um, so yeah, I I loved um, re-experiencing Fullmetal Alchemist and I definitely think you should too. So that's my thoughts on Fullmetal Alchemist. I will um, probably be back tomorrow with a, um, a tag video and maybe some more videos um, this, for the rest of the week if I'm lucky. So anyway, BookTube, thank you. Have a great afternoon and stay safe.